Cause it's rainbow climbing high Everyone can see it smiling over the sky Paint the whole world with a rainbow Oh, doesn't it all look lovely? Oh, look, can you keep hold of the fag flags for me? Oh, please. Sorry, Jeffrey. I've got to fix them for the wall. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, would you like to go on my treasure hunt? I've hidden something special in the sand. <laughs> You've got to find it. No, Zippy, the fate isn't open yet. Oh. Now, no one's to open any of these prizes while I'm away. Just going to get some more paper for my lucky dip. Hello. This is my white elephant stall. We're having a garden fete today. I hope the weather stays fine. <laughs> Freddy, I, I don't think your table is big enough. Oh, yes, it is, George. Well, no, it isn't, Freddy. You'll never get a great big white elephant on that tiny table because elephants are enormous. George, I won't have a real elephant on this stall. It's just called a white elephant stall. Oh, what a shame. Well, well why is it called a white elephant? Well, I don't really know, George. I, I've just got lots and lots of different things. Some old books that I don't want anymore. A, a tea cosy. This broken doll from Jane and that old red sweater. Just lots and lots of different things. But no white elephants. <laughs> Fancy calling it a white elephant and then not having one. Geoffrey, <laughs> uh, why are we having a garden fete? Well, we're having a garden fete bungle to try and raise some money for the playgroup around the corner so they can look after all the children. Oh, and Bernie Clifton's going to come and open it for us. Oh, I see. So we need lots and lots of people to come here and spend lots and lots of money. That's right. Well, doesn't our garden look nice with all these flags and the stalls? Geoffrey made the flags by cutting some crepe paper into triangles like this and then sticking it onto some string. The glue there, put the string, fold it over, there. And then we hung the flags off. JP, JP, it won't rain today, will it? I certainly hope not, George. Yeah. And I'm just going inside to see how Jane's getting on. Jeffrey, do you think anyone will want to buy these things? Oh, yes, Freddie, I'm sure they will. Oh, Freddie, would you save this tea cosy for me, please? If you make a nice hat for my rag doll. Oh, certainly, Bungle. It'll cost you one penny. Well, I'll pay you later on, but save it for me. All right. Please. I will. Oh, I hope I've got enough cups and saucers and squash and everything for everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, hello, Jane. I've just come to see how you're getting on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I'm ready, Zippy, but I just... I hope they've got enough to go round. I, I, I think I'd better try one of these delicious-looking jam tarts, Jane. <laughs> just to make sure they taste all right. All right, Zippy, but just one. Yes, good. <clears throat> oh, what an enormous fruit cake, Jane. Perhaps I'll have a piece of that instead. Oh, no, you can't have any of this, Zippy. This mm. is for a competition. You have to guess the weight of the cake. Oh, Ooh. that's easy, Jane. Let, let me have a go, can't you? Right. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I know the answer to that. Oh, well, what is it then, Zippy? Heavy. <laughs> oh, Zippy. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, all right. I'll just have a jam tart then, please, James. Hey. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm going back to my treasure hunt now. Yeah, before I forget where I buried the treasure. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> well, I better put these labels on my homemade jam. Now, let's see. Strawberry. That one's on there. Uh, what's this? Gooseberry. Put that on here. Gooseberry. That. And plum. Ooh, plum. There we are. Now I think I'll go and see how the garden's getting on. But what time is Bernie Clifton coming to open the fate? Well, he should be here in a few minutes, Bungle. Oh, I'm very excited. <coughs> oh, the garden looks lovely. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, uh, Jane, Jane, come and look at, at my treasure hunt. Hey, come on, come on. Yeah. Now, uh, you pay me 5p and I'll give you a cross. I made them by sticking one lollipop stick on top of another one. You can have a go for free, Jane, because you gave me a jam tart. <laughs> 
Oh, all right. Well, what do I do with it, Zippy? But you put it in the sand where you think the treasure is buried. And what if I find the treasure? But, well, you keep it, of course. Where is the treasure buried, Zippy? <laughs> I'm not telling you, Boggle. It's a secret. I'm the only one who knows. <laughs> oh, look. Look at all these sweets in a jar. Oh, what are you going to do with those, George? Well, Fred, you have to guess how many sweets are in the jar and the winner gets a prize. Oh. You can have two guesses for 5p. I do hope I can remember how many sweets there are. <laughs> I know how many there are, George. Ooh, how many, Zippy? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> well, Bernie Clifton's not here yet, and we're going to be ready, aren't we, to open the face in a moment. Oh, Rod, what's the newspaper for? Oh, that's for my lucky dip. Oh. Well, that's silly, Rod. If you put paper in there, you, you won't be able to see the prizes. Well, that's the idea, Zippy. You see, look. You put your hand in and you feel around for a prize, then you pull it out oh. and it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jane, are you going to be singing a song at the fete? Yes, we're going to sing and dance. Well, do you want to join in, Jeffrey? Oh, yes, please, yeah. Come on, the children are waiting to practice. Oh, right. 